Today we pause and honor the man who dreamed of a better nation. All across the country, people are paying tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He would have celebrated his 83rd birthday yesterday. Today, the community came out not only in celebration of his life, but in celebration of his vision for a better life. News Channel 5's Tracy Carlos was at some of today's events, and Tracy, they're calling today Do Something Day. Yeah, Lee, and you know, from the east side to the west side, people are remembering the civil rights leader and trying to do their part to keep his dream alive. Inside this small church on the city's east side, the work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. continues. Would you like some gravy on your turkey as well? Uh, Members of the Holy Trinity Baptist Church spent hours cooking turkey, mashed potatoes, and vegetables to serve up to those in the community. You know, a lot of children are in this community, a lot of schools are in this community, and understanding that a lot of times because of the economy, uh, as far as schools are concerned, the meals at lunchtime are the only meals that some of the kids actually get. So actually by school being out today, it's a great day to be able to help not only the community, but also to feed the children. Steve Chesney knows all too well about the economy. Jobs have been hard to come by for this self-employed contractor, and he has 10 children to feed. We do stuff like this all the time because it, it helps us save food at the house from us having so many people. While some are cooking, others are cleaning. Dozens of volunteers fanned out across the city today for a day of service in the community. City Year, a nationwide program partnered with the city of Cleveland and other groups to help with several projects, including sprucing up the Lonnie Burton Recreation Center. We're just doing general cleanup, um, cleaning walls, cleaning floors, reorganizing art rooms, um, or the art room, and um, cleaning up a boiler room downstairs. Elijah Sims is a sophomore at East Tech High School, and he says it's important that he help. It shows that uh, we care about our community, and that we, help, we want to take a day, a day off to come in and help out. A day off from school, but a lesson learned. And while some people completed service projects today, others took advantage of the free or reduced rate of admissions to area museums. The Rock Hall offered free admission today, and thousands of people took advantage of it. I will have that part of the story coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. For now in the newsroom, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.